Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got a patch incoming, and we're going to be talking about some of the changes coming to the contest. Uh, at least one of the changes uh, affects Alliance Quest and will be immediate. As in, by the time you watch this video, it will already be in place. And more on that a little bit later. Uh, but first, we've got two new champions coming to the contest. We've got Hitmonkey and Tigra. Now, I don't know anything other than what I've read here about either one of these champions. So you can read here for yourself uh, a little bit of their backstory. We're not going to look at their spotlights in this video here. All right. Uh, moving on here, we have the island of Dr. Modoc. If you remember the Hotel Modoc and all of those quests, this runs exactly the same way. All right, so let's look here. You're going to receive a sample collector every day from a special login calendar. This is what you're gonna to need to enter the quest, okay? You're gonna choose one of six class-related paths, all right, and you're going to have randomized buffs all along the path and you can change reset you're going to have this item called a buff randomizer okay uh you can use this buff randomizer now i don't know but in the past you can purchase that randomizer for units if you want to but you will as you complete them get them for free so in other words, you're going to be able to randomize, reroll a certain amount of times. You use them up, then you're going to have to spend if you don't like the buffs. So it's better to try and, you know, get through it if you can, even if it's a little bit difficult. Save them up for when you get a combination that's really insane. And I remember some insane combinations where you, if you didn't, use the randomizer you just weren't going to get past it all right so that's what's coming here uh each time you complete the quest you're going to get these gold coins i want you to notice that the gold coins is in caps that means not your regular gold but they're going to be these special coins that you will need to spend and purchase things in the gift shop for modok and in that gift, gift shop you're going to have rank up materials. You're going to have items like potions and um, revives and all of that good stuff. OK, uh, you also have these uh, contracts. As you can see, there's 13 special objectives. Uh, they'll appear randomly at random times rather uh, throughout the month. You complete those by finding and defeating the champions and you will collect gold coins. So there's more than one way to collect these gold coins. That's the currency you're gonna need to purchase things from Modoc's gift shop, okay? And here we go. Now, you see that Alliance tickets? We're gonna talk more about that uh, in a little bit more detail um, a little later, because I have a separate set of notes for Alliance tickets. OK, but just briefly, they are going to be doing away with the Alliance Treasury. Each individual member is going to be responsible for purchasing these tickets in order to enter these maps. OK, uh, more on that later. But as you can see, it's going to replace the need to make donations. All right. Uh, no more cost for map five. So if you're doing maps one through five, you can do those for free. Very good news for those alliances that are more retirement alliances that have folks that just want to, you know, collect some resources and they're not trying to spend a lot. Or if you come from a highly competitive alliance and you used up your resources and you need to replenish them, you may have taken a break from the high-end alliance now you can do map five coast around rebuild your resources and then rejoin okay now 
I'm probably one of the few people that gets excited when I see bug fixes and improvements. I know I'm not the only one, but I know I'm, I'm a few. All right, so we've got Annihilus. He has a synergy, and it'll now provide an increase to the champion's PI. I didn't know that it wasn't, uh, and that's true with a lot of these. Some of these I didn't realize were bugs, so that's why I like going through these. Uh, increasing the champion PI helps out, especially in Arena. Uh, if you guys watch me do Arena, you know that I love uh, going in with synergy teams. It's just fun. Um, it's not as fast as just going in with your top and just grabbing them, of course. But it's fun for me. It's a nice little way to make uh, uh, the uh, arena grind a little less arduous, you know. Um, but when you have higher PI, that actually does help you out. It gives you a little bit more uh, points uh, in your fights when you win. So I like seeing that. Black Widow Clairvoyant, I was excited to see this because I just recently pulled and ranked up my Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, fixed an issue where the medium one and two attacks would sometimes not make contact. Now, I did experience that, and I didn't know that that was a bug. I thought it was just dropping input, so that's good to see. Guillotine 2099, have her as a six star. Uh, fixed an issue where Combo Shield would activate when dex evading an attack. I don't know if this was the problem that Work in Progress, who has a SIG 200 uh, guillotine 2099, I believe a six star, uh, was showing us one day. Uh, it seemed like the combo shield activated after he got hit. So I don't know if this is a similar issue, if it's related to that issue or what, but it seems like the combo shield at SIG 200 is supposed to be 100%. Uh, he got hit, and the combo shield did activate, but he had already lost his combo. So I don't know if there's any relation to that um, or if that's still an issue. Uh, Howard the Duck, I don't like Howard the Duck. Um, we'll start each fight with the correct number of armor up buffs. Don't care. Uh, Human Torch um, has this synergy. I don't have a five star, so I don't use him. Um, except the four star every once in a while in arena, uh, increase the duration of the miss, uh, a short amount. Okay. Hyperion special attack two wind breath now pro properly tagged as a projectile. So that means that any champion that has an anti projectile, uh, mechanic now will trigger when it comes to his special two. And I'm wondering if that also now means that OG Daredevil, which how many of us are still using, Awakened, will now evade that special too. Very interesting thing. I have a four-star rank four OG Daredevil, uh, Max Sig. I might have to test that out. All right. Uh, Judgment Day Synergy. Fix an issue where Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Ghost Rider's Judgment Day Synergy was not reducing the duration of unstoppable buffs. Good news for people that are using that synergy. Mr. Fantastic, don't have him. I still think he looks goofy, but he's very, very useful. Um, probably the best support character in the game. Uh, heavy Attack will now pause the uh, buffs from his pre-fight ability. Okay. Science Experiment Synergy. Fixed an issue where Captain America Infinity War Synergy was not modifying the damage output of Iceman's cold snap debuff at the start of a fight. Didn't know, good to see it. Sorcerer Supreme, I don't really use him that much. Uh, fixed an issue where the special two attack wouldn't always pause the rune timer. Uh, weakness will now react to other modifications to its target's attack rating while it's active. Interesting. Um, and then these couple here only apply to people who have weapon X. All right, so they're fixing issues there. Uh, Wolverine was not immune to all regeneration rate modifications, and they added a top champion portrait for summoner profiles. All right, so people that have him, rank him up, max him out, they might be able to see him on their profile there. Um, fixed an issue, actually it says a top champion portrait. I'm not sure if that's it, or I, I know they're coming with some other changes. Um, I don't know if that's that that they were talking about or just what we have right now. 
Uh, fixed an issue with the timing of parry after a five-hit combo against some older champions. Thank you. That was so annoying. Um, a lot of times, uh, for those of us who are used to the timing, we know when we hit that parry right on. And when the timing is off, we usually know. And some of us uh, will complain very loudly and other people are like, oh, well, you just need to get good. But it's actually an issue, and I'm glad they've acknowledged it. All, All right. right, so that's going to do it for this video. I will have another video talking more in depth about the new Alliance Quest ticket system, uh, the pros, the cons, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Uh, but look forward to that video uh, coming soon. All right, so take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it informative. These are things that are coming in the next patch. So take care and you all have a blessed day.